Oh, hello again and welcome to the VK6CS Fun with Amateur Radio channel. Here's another communication site. This one's a little, uh, this is a self-supporting tower. It's a little more substantial than uh, some that I've shown you in the past. You can see there's an earth strap there. That will go down to, uh, there'll be an earth pit around here somewhere. There's one of those on each leg. There's another leg over there. As you can see, this is a fairly significant tower. This one's 70 metres tall. I've actually driven a land cruiser between the span of these uh, of these legs to give you an idea of the uh, of the size of it. Looks like we've got a lot of. Uh, I think that's probably wild canola growing around here. There's someone else's mast over there. You saw that. Um, uh, but this one here. There we go. Actually, this one doesn't have any bird's nests in it, which is uh, which is quite surprising. They often have uh, bird's nests on the little landings up there, where you can sort of stop and have a rest if you want to, as you climb up the top. Oh, if I can get the top of that, will it focus? That's what it's like looking up the inside of it. And there's the ladder. Um, so we hook the bottom part of the ladder on, put the full arrest system on and uh, let's go up the ladder all the way to the top. What riggers do. I don't actually get involved with uh, climbing these things anymore. I used to with the previous outfit that I worked for. We used to have to do the pre-cyclone tower inspections or the mast inspections, check all the guy wires and uh, make sure all the antennas were firmly bolted on. There's another earth strap there. Just put my foot in the shot for scale. There you go. This one might even be substantial enough to please aid. Although I doubt it. I think it's probably pretty difficult to please aid, to be honest. <laughs> no offence, aid. Oh, there's me. Good heavens. There's, a, uh, there's an earth pit there. Each leg has got one of these earth pits. And... Uh, there you go. There's the there's the strap going down. That will go over to that uh, that earth pit, and there'll be an earth rod in there, and all the earth rods. Uh, I can't remember the length of these, but they will have to meet a certain specification. Uh, I think it might be less than five ohms, something like that. But uh, each leg has got one of these, and if we want to check the earths, we just open up these little pits and uh, check them out. Now the sun is over here, so if I go here. Might be able to get a view of. There we are. There's the microwave link dish antenna up at the top there, and uh, just to the left of that, you'll probably see a couple of little yogis for the uh, for the voice comms. So this is quite uh, quite a substantial uh, quite a substantial arrangement. This one. Um, And there we go, that's where the feeders, the feeders come in from the, uh, from the radio hut, or the comms hut. And they go all the way, all the way up there. Uh, there's only two uh, for, the, uh, for the microwave and for the VHF. One for the uh, microwave, one for the, sorry, for the UHF. And the UHF has got a power splitter up the top there. And uh, is it, I it's got two Yankees or is it only one? I can't remember. This might only have one. No, it's got two. Right at the top there. It's got to focus. Is it going to focus? Nah. Um, but there's two Yogis up there. There's a power splitter. So there's only one feeder goes up to the power splitter and then half of the power is fed to one. Uh, UHF Yagi and half of the power is fed to the other one. So there we go, as you can hear, it's birds twittering in the background. It's pretty peaceful out here, there's not very much here. Car in the distance. Having said that. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, very nice. Oh, and uh, this one is fully fenced. Uh, aid, just uh, just for your information. I hope this uh, 
this fence is to your uh, to your liking. So the whole compound is uh, is fenced at this particular location. All right. Well, uh, as always, hope you found that interesting. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.